Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can set up screen share on an LG Smart TV so you can mirror whatever you've got on your Android mobile phone, Windows 10 laptop or other tablets onto the TV. So for example you can share your pictures and videos on the big screen. So it's really simple to do. What we need to do is get the remote control from the TV and we're going to press this button that looks like a cable. And now we're going to go down to where it says screen share using the down arrows and we're going to press OK. And that will bring up this page here. Now what we're going to do in the top right hand side it says listen mode off. I'm going to change that to on and then it will make the setup quicker because then every time we want to share something or we can do it all from for example the mobile phone by just pressing cast without constantly having to come back to the TV and setting up the screen share. So listen mode I'm going to press OK and I'm going to change it to on. It does say here the listen mode enables to accept a connection request while using other apps as well as the screen share app. However, listen mode affects Wi-Fi performance. If Wi-Fi connection is unstable, switch the motor off. So if you're already suffering with a bad Wi-Fi connection, then this isn't going to help it. So I'm going to change that to on, and now we can just exit that. Right, so for example now, pretend you're watching TV, or if you're already on Netflix or YouTube. We want to share something from our phone onto there. I'm going to use two fingers down from the top. On some phones it's just one, on this particular phone I have to use two and I've got a cast icon there. I'm just going to tap cast and now it's come up with the TV. I'm just going to tap that TV and now it says here connecting. VF900 is trying to connect and I've got the option to decline but I don't want to decline and as you see it's as easy as that. I am now connected to the TV from my phone. And neither of these are currently connected to Wi-Fi. So I have got Wi-Fi enabled on my phone, but it's not actually connected to anything. So you don't even need to have the internet in your house to be able to use this feature. Obviously, if you want to be playing YouTube and Netflix from the phone and cast it onto the TV, then your phone is going to have to have an internet connection. But if you just want to share your photos and stuff, then you don't need an internet connection to do this. So as you can see there, it's now sharing the photos up on screen. And this will transmit the sound and the picture as well. Right, okay, so that's it on the phone. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this Windows 10 laptop down here. So what I want to do is I'm going to disconnect it from this one now. So I'm going to use two fingers down from the top and I'm going to tap where the cast one was before. And now it says LG because we're connected. So I'm going to tap that there and I'm just going to hit the X. And now it says here your device is disconnected. And now the phone's back to normal and the TV is back to normal. If I press exit, it will go back to the TV channel it was on previously. So now we're going to do the same thing on the Windows 10 laptop down here. So we're going to go to this little icon in the corner here. So we can either use our mouse or on this laptop. It's a touch screen so I can touch that there. And I need to go to where it says connect. So I'm just going to tap connect. And now again it's searching for a device nearby. And it's picked up the LG TV here. So I'm going to tap that there. And it says connecting. So now if we go up to the screen as well. It says connecting to desktop, blah, 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 and you've got the option to decline it. And there we go. You can see now it's up on the screen up there. Right now it's on the extended desktop. Let me just change that to duplicate. So if I go to project down here instead of connect, go to project, left click, and I'm going to go to duplicate. And now it will mirror whatever I do on screen here up there. And again, it will be sound and audio. So if I was to go to here and if I was to pick a video, put the volume up here on the TV and this is one of my other YouTube videos and the sounds coming through the TV rather than the laptop here and as you can see it works perfectly. Right and let's say if we finish with that now and to get out of it, all we've got to do is go to the bottom right hand corner again, 
tap that bit there, go into connect, and if you have a look here, the LG TV, and we just hover over disconnect and left click or just tap it if you're working on a tablet or a touch screen. And you can see now the device is disconnected. My computer's back to normal. I'm gonna press exit on the remote control and now the TV again will go back to the previous channel. So this is all happening directly between here and the TV. It's not going via your router or router if you're in different parts of the world, it's all direct from here to here and from the phone to here. We can only obviously connect one device at a time. So if you've got something on the phone first, you will have to then disconnect it before you move on to another device. So I hope you found the video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.